Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true, and a bunch of hilarious people also, a lot of those. It's gotta be the majority of the population, even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. This is Tucker Carlson's first time speaking out after he was fired by Fox News earlier this week. And beyond the fact that he is clearly too afraid of Rupert Murdoch to actually address what happened to cause his unexpected firing, this message was pretty bizarre. First, he's basically saying that there's some ominous force that wanted to silence him because he was bravely tackling the biggest issues of our time that everyone else was too afraid to talk about. Ah yes, Tucker, the biggest issues of our time, like this. The green M&M, you will notice, is no longer wearing sexy boots. Now she's wearing sensible sneakers. Leading women do not wear sexy boots. Leading women wear frumpy shoes. The frumpier, the better. That's the rule. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. The orange M&M will, quote, acknowledge and embrace his anxiety. And actually, if you look at him, the orange M&M does appear very anxious. Maybe he doesn't like all the ugly new shoes he sees around him. Maybe he liked the sexy boots. So brave. No one had the guts to stand up and take on the green M&M for her lack of sexy footwear, but Tucker did it, and for that, the world is grateful. But it's actually telling that he refused to even mention his firing or Fox at all, much less Rupert Murdoch. And of course, we still don't know exactly why he was fired, but we can certainly guess. According to an article by Rolling Stone, Fox News executives have compiled an oppo file of supposed dirt on Tucker Carlson. The file includes internal complaints regarding workplace conduct, disparaging comments that he made about management and colleagues, and allegations that he created a toxic work environment. And of course, this also comes amid a lawsuit from his former senior booking producer, Abby Grossberg, who's alleging a toxic and sexist workplace environment. The article goes on to explain that Fox News' comms department has assembled this damaging information about Carlson and that Fox is prepared to disclose some of its contents if executives suspect that Carlson is coming after the network. Now, we can only really imagine what's in the file and just how damaging that might be, but it almost certainly helps explain why Tucker, who claims to be some warrior for free speech in the First Amendment, is suddenly so quiet about this earthquake firing. Especially since this is what he used to say about his former boss, Rupert Murdoch, before he was abruptly fired. People in power tend to lie. We'll save that tape. It'll be fresh and true 10 years from now. In fact, it'll always be true. Human nature doesn't change. We've been honored to cover that unchanging story for the past three years here at Fox. What a great and fascinating time that's been. Thanks for hanging in there with us through it all. 
If it weren't for you, we'd be long gone. Trust me. We want to thank Fox and especially the Murdoch family for their unwavering support of this show day after day. God bless them. Lachlan Murdoch has taken over. Suzanne Scott, Jay Wallace running it day to day. The one thing they have in common, in addition to being really nice people, is that they are totally committed to the freedom of speech. Do they agree with everything we say on this show or other shows? We have no idea. They've never told us. What we do know is that they have a bedrock, unshakable belief that the First Amendment is real. And now that Murdoch has revealed himself to not be this diehard warrior for free speech that Tucker painted him to be, Tucker is dead silent on the matter. Why? Because at Tucker's core, when he's not in his insular little safe space at Fox, he is a coward. I mean, this is the same guy who was utterly embarrassed years ago by Jon Stewart. Special effort to come on the show today because I have mentioned uh, this show as being uh, uh, bad. <laughs> it's not so much that it's bad, as it's hurting America. <laughs> so I, I wanted to but come here today defense, let me, and say, wait, wait, no, I just, let me hear here, here, here's just one, what I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop hurting America. Okay. I watch your show every day and it kills me. I can tell you a lot. It's it. so, oh, it's so painful to watch. Your partisan, um, what do you call it, hacks. Wait, John, wait, let me, let me, okay, you have a responsibility to the public discourse. And you, you fail a a miserably. I think you're a good comedian. I think your lectures are boring. Maybe you're on CNN. You say. My, the show that leads into me is puppets making crank phone calls. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's someone who watches your show and cannot take it anymore. I just can't you need fail to get a miserably. School, I think you need to go to one. Now this is theater. I mean, it's it's it is, obvious. No, no, it is. How old are you? Thirty-five. And you wear a bow tie. Yeah, I do. I do. So, I hate so, so at all. I, I, mean, I do think you're more fun on your show. Uh, just my opinion. But can, can okay, you say, Jesse, John Stewart goes one you know on one with his fans. You're as big a dick on your show question. as you are on any show. <laughs> All of which is to say that Tucker Carlson is a man with no spine, no principles, no commitment to truth. He was fired by MSNBC, by CNN, and now by Fox. And it wasn't because of some noble cause, it was because he was an on-air mercenary for whatever audience he could try to attract and monetize. When he realized that he could easily spread fear and disinformation to a MAGA audience, he took advantage of that. But because he was always a scumbag with no commitment to anything but his own ego, it all came crashing down eventually. Meanwhile, Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene are saying that Tucker Tucker not having a multi-million dollar TV contract to spew lies and hate every night is the end of the First Amendment. What we're seeing is we're seeing the end of the First Amendment. That's how I see it. I can't see it any other way. We've seen censorship out of control. You would think that someone who swore an oath to uphold the Constitution would know what that document's very First Amendment actually says, but I guess that's asking a little too much. But let's be clear here. When Republicans are saying that even Fox is too liberal and too woke, you know they've gone so far right, they've fallen off the political spectrum. This is a network that literally airs 24-7 right-wing MAGA propaganda on behalf of the Republican Party. This is the network that's responsible for airing the election lies that led to the January 6th insurrection, the network that's the mouthpiece responsible for injecting far-right talking points directly into millions of living rooms in America. If that network is too woke to you, then you might just be the extremist that I'm talking about. And while Tucker is clearly too afraid to comment directly on this topic, hopefully that'll dispel this notion that no one will stop him from saying what he wants to say. Tucker's commitment to free speech apparently only extends as far as it remains convenient for him to do so. And right now, it looks like his silence speaks volumes. Before you go, I need your help. I'm right on the cusp of hitting two million subscribers, so please help me grow this channel so the progressive media ecosystem grows by hitting the subscribe button right here on the screen. I also started a Spanish channel so we can finally start regaining some of that lost ground among Spanish speakers, so if you wanna help support those efforts, you can hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you listen to podcasts and you wanna support mine, you'll find a link to that on the screen as well. Thanks so much for watching.